Coming up in this video, guys, I'm gonna show you how to take a pre-recorded video and live stream it straight to Facebook or YouTube using my favorite live streaming system called Ecamm. Stay tuned. All right, uh, where do I begin? with with ecamm uh, or first off really quick if you have a windows computer uh, you won't be able to use ecamm it's only for mac users so if you have an imac or a, a macbook pro you're good you'll be able to use this this platform um if you have a windows computer right below this video i've got some resources some resources that i actually use that you can use on your windows pc to use some of these same types of features so so again just check out check out the resources below uh, this video in the YouTube description and you'll be able to see those other resources. So for those that have a Mac, Hey, uh, this is my favorite software. I literally use Ecamm every day. Um, yeah, I'm using Ecamm right now as I'm making this video it has a lot of different features, but of course, and I, I don't have time to go over all the features that Ecamm does. Uh, I'm only going to talk about, you know, taking a recorded video and broadcasting it to straight to Facebook and YouTube. Um, so, cause you know, sometimes, you know, some people are kind of reserved in terms of, you know, doing a live video on their phone or their computer or whatever. I get it. You know, people are shy, but Hey, you just got to punch fear in the face. If you want success, you got to let people know that you exist, right? So just go live and it's not going to be perfect. It matter of fact, it doesn't have to be perfect. Why? Cause it's a live video. So it gives you the excuse for it to not be perfect because it's a live video. <laughs> Does this make sense? It's live. It doesn't supposed to be perfect. However, there are situations where you want a particular video to be somewhat perfect or whatever, right? Or maybe you feel more comfortable recording a video first then taking that video file and broadcasting it live on Facebook or YouTube. Well, guess what? Introducing Ecamm. Ecamm. That's what it's all about. That's why it's um, some of the features that it has. Uh, man, it has evolved over the years. I've been using Ecamm now. Uh, I want to say since 20, 2016, I believe. I want to say since 2016, a uh, long time. And it's evolved a lot over the years. It's very robust right now. It has a lot of features, but one of the main features I definitely love is the ability to broadcast, you know, pre-recorded video. Um, um, you know, it's, it's just really, really cool. So let me show you how this works. Um, let me pull up, let me change my screen here so you can see something here. This is Ecamm right here, guys. Very, very popular software. As you can see, a lot of people use it across the internet. Um, a, a lot of well-known influencers, trainers, coaches, uh, you know, people in business. Just, it's it's definitely my favorite, um, you know. And one, just because it's very, very simple. It's very intuitive. Um, I, I use a lot of different ones um, when it comes to broadcasting, you know, pre-recorded video if I have to do that feature, um, um, you know, Ecamm is probably still my number one platform just because of the simplicity of the platform. It's very, very, very simple. So again, some of the prices when it comes to Ecamm, really, really simple. Uh, you got your yearly prices, of course. But let me go to the monthly. That's typically what most, pe most people do. Um, you got a free 14-day trial uh, that you can check out. And then, of course, then if you want to continue that membership, it's 20 bucks a month for the standard membership or the pro $40 a month. And it's all, you, you can see the different features and everything. It all depends on what you want um, and, and what you need to use. Um, you know, it, it, they're just great. So nothing that I really just re recommend. It just depends on if you need the different features in the pro feature, you know, pro, you know, plan or what have you. It's totally up to you now. Uh, and you'll see a link right below in the YouTube description. You can go there and uh, you can click that link. You can create your account. It is an affiliate link, so I get a small commission. Thank you in advance. And uh, so hopefully I can give you some really good value to show you how to really kind of get going with Ecamm. And again, I have i don't know how many hours I've been on Ecamm over, you know, over the past, I don't know, five or six years or so. Um, so um, definitely my favorite platform to use. So what I'm going to do really quick here is I'm going to 
show you what this looks like. I'm going to, I'm going to actually change scenes here and I'm going to show you what the, uh, the, cause it's a, it's a, it's a program that you download on your, on your Mac. And, uh, and so I want to show you how it all looks so you can get a really good understanding of how it's going to look on your Mac, uh, once you get it. So, uh, give me a second here and I'll show you how that looks here. Okay, here we go. So, um, what I've done here, so I'm just doing a screen, full screen capture here on my, on my computer here. So you can see the Ecamm window here and you can, you know, change the size. You can move it around and, and all that kind of stuff here. Let me see if I can show you. So I can change the size. I'm, I'm making it bigger here. So you can kind of just see some of the functionality here. Um, so, uh, you can really see how it all works here. So, um, let me show you how this works. Now, right now I was in record only cause I can, you can actually just do recordings, right? So when I was saying I'm already using it, well, I was just using it to record. I got my camera right here and it's actually hooked up to my computer. So I'm able to record. So a lot of, a lot of cool things that it does. Right. So, uh, so if I click here, let's say I want to do a broadcast to Facebook. And so I've got my Facebook account connected to my Ecamm you know, account. So, uh, give it a second here. I just changed the, the feature. Okay. There it is. Okay. So now if you look here, so I can choose, I'm on my Facebook account. If I wanted to choose some different things, if I wanted to go on my, my, uh, my fan page, I can, I can, you know, broadcast on my fan page. If I wanted to, let's say, go on a particular, let's say a group, um, I can, you know, choose a different group as well. Like I can click on test account. I got a test account on Facebook. Uh, uh, let me make sure that I'm still on my Steve Rachel profile. Um, so we're going to, I'm going to send out something to, um, you know, my test account here. And so we got that set so you can choose. And of course you got Facebook, LinkedIn, Twi Twitch, and YouTube. Okay. Uh, and there's some other different things, some more advanced stuff that you can do to get on other platforms, but we're not going to go over all that, but this is just, you know, the standard, you know, platforms that come, that comes with Ecamm. And of course, for, for the most part, for me, I'm mainly using Ecamm either just to record video or broadcast to Facebook and, or YouTube. That's typically what I use it for. Okay. If I'm going to broadcast a live video. So let's just say, for example, we're going to do, we're going to broadcast a live video, right? And we're going to, we're going to, uh, uh, and I'm just going to do it. I'm going to show you how it is, how it looks if it's scheduled. And I'm going to show you what it looks like. I think I could be able to do this here. We'll try and see it if I can schedule and if I can go live. So first let's just go live with one. Okay. We're just going to do a, a complete, we're just going to go live. Okay. So, um, let me, let me, let me pull up my Facebook account here. And, and what I'm going to do is I'm going to click on test account here. Okay. I've got a test account. Okay. Perfect. Okay. So here's my test account that we're going to, we're going to use for this example. So what I'm going to do. So the purpose of what I'm getting ready to do now is I'm just, just going to just broadcast a pre-recorded video straight to a Facebook group. I could have broadcast it to a fan page, another group, my profile, a YouTube channel, right? It's totally up to you, right? So in this example, I'm doing a group, a particular group. I, I got a test, a test group that I've created years ago that I use for like testing things, right? Nobody's in it other than me and my wife. So nobody sees anything, especially if I'm testing softwares or whatever. So I uh, recommend that you get one as well. So if you look right over here, uh, so you got Facebook, uh, there's my profile, the test account. It says go live now. That's what I want to do. So all I got to do is come over here and type in something. Um, I'll just, I'll just say again, I'm live. <laughs> Keep it simple, right? I'm live, right? So all I have to do now is click on go live. See this button right here. All I have to do is click on go live and it'll go live. Now, again, there's a lot of different features here and everything, and I'll, I'll get a chance to kind of show you a little bit of how the, how this all works, but, but I'm just right now, I just want to kind of keep it simple. Uh, so all I have to do now is just hit go live. I think we're good. Hit go live. Give it a second and it's doing its thing. It's cranking itself up. 
boom, now I'm live in that group. Okay. Um, um, that's how you can do it live. Right. And then if I, if I come here, I hit refresh, then it's going to show me that I'm live. See, here I am. I'm live. Right. There it is. Okay. Now let me stop it. Finish in broadcast. Okay. Now, so you saw how that works. Simple, right? Now let's do a pre-recorded video. Okay. So if you look over here at the top of the screen right here, I've got a camera. I've got a picture of a, looks like a computer monitor, which means if you need to share something on your computer, I can hit share. Right. And I have right here, where it says video file. That's what I want to do. I do have a video file, right? So I can click on this, right? And I can find a particular video here. Uh, let me find one that's a little longer. Let me choose a file. Give me a second here. And I'm gonna choose a file. And let's just use, we can probably, let me think here. Let me think here. What's a good one? Uh, we could probably just do, no, I don't want to do that one. Let's do, I'm just trying to find something here. Uh, yeah, it might work. That might work. Okay. We'll just do this one. Open. Okay. Okay. All right. Okay. So, Hopefully you saw that. Now it just started playing the video. It is, it, it wasn't broadcasting or anything. It was just playing the video. Okay. So, and I got a lot going on on my computer. So give me a second here. Uh, let me shut down Facebook. I know Facebook pulls up a lot of resources. So let me just close that out and I'll bring it back up once we start. Okay. So, all right. So, um, I just showed you that. So you saw that video play, right? And uh, uh, that was a pre-recorded video. Say it, say it was a presentation, say it was whatever, right? So it you know, it's, it's set. So it's in the system. So all I have to do is, is really click on this right here and hit resume the last video and I'll pause it, right? Cause remember, this is the video right here. Okay. So I can fast forward. Right. And I can do all that. And, and of course, my, my computer is like humming like crazy because I got this going and Ecamm uses a lot of resources and it's just a lot going on. Right. Because I'm recording at the same time. So I got a lot going on on my computer. So um, but all I have to do, you know, and I can move, you know, I can move my, you know, my deal around and everything. So if, if I wanted to start the video right here, I can start it here. But we're just going to go to the beginning. And, and let's say I want that video to go live right now. Well, guess what? I would just hit go live. Boom, it would do its thing, its little spin, right? And and once it completed, here, let me come back here so you can see me. So once it completed its little spin, then it will automatically make this video go live, okay? It would actually it would actually go live. Okay, let me pause that. Okay, so so you kind of get it, get the idea. And, uh, um, and then, of course, if I did a scheduled live here, matter of fact, let's do that real quick here. Let's, let's, let's just let it go live here. And, um, I'm just going to click it right now. We're going to, we're going right back to the test account. So I'm going to hit go live. Give it a second. It's doing its thing. Boom. Now it's live here. Let me, let me turn the, uh, here. I'll just mute my, my computer. All right, so now it's live. It's going live, right? So um, now let's just check. Let's just see what's happening. So I'll go back to Facebook here, and what I'll do, I'll go back to my account, and I'll type in test account. Type in test account, and that should bring it back up, and then I should see that video. Yep, see, there it is. Okay, it's live. All right. So pre-recorded. Hey, look, mom, no hands. <laughs> so again, simple, simple. And again, I, I could just hit play, but I'm not, I'm just going to, let me get out of Facebook here. And, uh, um, so it's really, really simple. Let me close that out. Okay. Let me close this out too. I got a lot going on on my computer. 
All right, quit. Okay, all right. So let me pause that because I don't need that anymore. Let me come back so you can kind of see me. And uh, again, that's how that works, okay? Really, really simple uh, uh, when, when it comes to, you know, doing the live videos. And then, of course, I can do a scheduled live as well. Uh, here, let me hit finish because I'm still broadcasting. So let me finish that. Okay, now, boom, we're done. Okay, so I'm done. That live broadcast is done. And, uh, and if I wanted to schedule one, just come back here again, hit new schedule. And then it's going to bring up a little option here. I could just say, I could say I'm going live, right? Cause I'm not going live right now. So I'll just say I'm going live. We'll just do the same thing. And then, um, and then right here, this is where you can put your thumbnail. So I click on this. And then I can find a thumbnail that I want to use. We'll just use this one, right? And and remember, we're going to the test account. So, and then I'm going to go live. Let's just say I'm going to go live tomorrow on the third, okay? All right, and I'm gonna hit schedule. So let's say whatever I said in my title, whatever I say in the description, whatever I put in the thumbnail, always put a thumbnail there. Always put an image or something, or it's just going to put some, some generic thing there. So just put an image, make sure you put an image there. And then I hit schedule. And when I hit schedule, it's going to do its thing. It's going to, you know, it's, it's thinking or whatever. And once it finishes, boom now, and it says, look in one day, see that now, if I go back to Facebook again, maybe I could have, could have bookmarked this for you guys, but uh, I try to keep it down because, you know, Facebook uses a lot of resources on your computer, especially when you record and broadcast, you're doing all the stuff. It gets, a, you know, whatever. So, so you get, you get the picture. So there it is. So see, so there's the schedule. Um, I'm going live and yeah, here's the information and, and the time or whatever. And then all they have to do is click on the get reminder button and they'll get reminded uh, when I go live, they'll get the little notification on their phone or whatever. And it even does the same for those that kind of like the video. I mean, like the that this post, if they like it or comment, a lot of times they'll get the notification. You know how you get notifications from people on Facebook that are that are live. Right. So you'll 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 get that information there as well. So uh, a lot of cool stuff. So, again, simple. Right. So that's that's it when it comes to just recording video. Um, uh, but again, go to that link below guys, go to their website, check out that information. Just go to that link there. You'll see all the different things that it can do. Um, definitely by far my favorite platform or most it's actually my most used platform when it comes to live videos and stuff like that. And I typically even use it to record these kind of training videos when I'm sharing my desktop and all that. So there's a lot of cool, cool features for people that are that do, that do training and and showing people how how things work on their computer and all so it has a lot of features and it's very simplistic how they have it all set up here and again i don't have time to go through everything that's on another video but if you're looking for a way to broadcast live video and i just showed you how to go live how to um uh, with ecamm i showed you how to broadcast a a live a pre-recorded video live you know with the ecamm and i showed you how to schedule a pre-recorded live video using ecamm so i just showed you three things that you can do and that's not even <laughs> a quarter of everything that ecamm can actually do a lot of functionality a lot of features uh can definitely set you apart when you're marketing online and and really make your live videos look very very professional so Hey guys, that's all I got for today. Do me a favor. If you got some value from this video, give it a like and also subscribe to my YouTube channel right below. Just and be sure to hit the hit the bell so you'll get a notification when I upload my next video. I got a lot of cool resources that I'm going to be sharing on my channel. You don't want to miss those because it's going to be a lot of cool stuff that can help you in business. So with that said, guys, thanks for watching this video and we'll see you on the next video. Peace.